Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing an updated full face of Ilya. I have done a couple other videos doing a full face of Ilya on my channel before, but Ilya has since launched some new products um, and even came out with some new packaging. I have featured, I believe, some of their new packaging in one of the previous videos that I did, but um, I have gotten some more of their products. Some of these I have purchased myself and some of these were kindly gifted to me. Um, but yeah, so I thought it would be a good time to do an updated full face of Ilya and I figured I would do a fall type of look. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, definitely keep on watching. Also, if you are new here and enjoy beauty, acne, health and wellness, and also fashion related content, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the video. So to start off, I'm gonna use the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. This has SPF 40 and it has niacinamides, scolane, and hyaluronic acid. So I'm just gonna shake this up. You do wanna make sure that you shake it really, really well before you use it. I have this in the shade ST5 Bomb Bomb. I found that this is a pretty good match. I have done a whole review video on the skin tint if you guys want a more in-depth review. I believe I also did a wear test for this, so um, if you want to see like how this wears, definitely check out that video. So I'm just going to take a little bit to start. I'm just going to kind of smear it all over my face. And I was going to try applying this with a brush, but I honestly feel like it's just going to look the best if I apply it with my fingers. And as you can see, it just like rubs in so beautifully. It looks so, so beautiful and skin-like. Now this isn't gonna give you a lot of coverage, but when I first used this, I was very impressed with the coverage. I mean, it's not like a lot, but it was more than I thought it would be because you know, this is kind of like an oil-based product. It has that squalane in here. I just didn't think it would have much coverage at all. And still, it's a very, very light coverage, but it was just more than I thought it would be. But this looks so, so beautiful on the skin. Really great for that like glowy everyday makeup look. Maybe you just don't want to put like a full coverage foundation on or you just don't want anything that's going to look like you have a foundation on at all. This is a really nice one, but it's definitely going to give you that glow. So you might want to set it with a powder, which I am going to do. But if you like a really dewy look, then you might not even care to set this with a powder. But just like look how pretty that looks on the skin. Okay, I know I look like a greasy a grease ball right now but like it just looks really skin like and it just blends out so so nicely oh i totally goofed i was gonna apply their primer but honestly i feel like you don't really need to apply a primer when you're using this product i don't know <laughs> anyway i have used this in another video if you wanted to see but um totally forgot to do that then i am gonna go in with their serum concealer i have this in the shade sc 1.75 burdock i find this is a pretty good shade for me gives a little bit of like brightening under the eyes and you can also use it for spot concealing i do have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation so i'm gonna kind of just like apply it around my face just because I do have a lot of just like spots from where I had acne. And I'm just gonna blend this out with a sponge. And I love this concealer. I have used this concealer for a long time. It's definitely a favorite of mine, so, so beautiful. Normally I just use it under my eyes, but it is good for a spot concealer as well. I feel like it gives like a medium coverage, light to medium coverage depending on if you build it up or not, but I don't know, I guess I would say medium coverage. But yeah, like my spots are still poking through with this, but honestly it gives me enough coverage that I still like. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. But it blends into the skin really nice as well. It doesn't look heavy or cakey. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a powder, just kind of set my face, get rid of a little bit of that shine. So I don't have the Ilia powder, which I really wanna try. I don't know why I haven't tried it yet, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna use the RMS Beauty Unpowder, and this is their translucent version. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on a little powder brush and just kind of apply this to any areas, like the T-zone. Honestly, like, Probably like just all over my face for the most part, but maybe not as much like on the cheeks, but under the eyes, the eyelids, the chin area, around the nose. 
this is a very very like finely milled powder so it will like go all over the place i don't know if you guys can tell but like it just like i don't know if you guys can see like it just going everywhere <laughs> but um so it's a little messy but I find that it works really nice and it kind of like gives like a smoothing look to the skin and it has like really minimal ingredients too which is nice. So then I'm going to take the Ilia Beauty. This is their drawn in night light bronzing powder and I'm going to take a little bit of this on a crease brush and I'm actually going to start off my eyeshadow look with this. I'm just going to apply this to the crease. I always like using a bronzer in the crease when I'm going just for a quick look. Even when I'm not, I just really love how it looks. I find that when you use like the same bronzer for like your eyeshadow, like in the crease, the same as you use on your face, it just looks really nice and it's just kind of like uniform looks. It just like blends together really nicely and kind of ties a look together, I feel like. And then I'm gonna also take this on to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the Ilia Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint. I have this in the shade Fresco, which is a really pretty like bronzy shade. And I'm just going to apply it straight to the lid like this. Just dabbing it all over. And then I'm going to blend the rest out with my fingers. I really have been enjoying liquid eyeshadows, especially for when I just want a really quick eyeshadow look that's going to look really nice and really put a look together. I really enjoy that. And this one is really, really nice. I like the shade a lot. Um, it's super easy to blend out. This is like a like a thicker, creamy formula. Like if you have tried the Kosas um, liquid eyeshadows, those, were a, those are a lot more liquidy. This one is kind of more creamy. It's definitely a thicker consistency than the Kosas liquid eyeshadows. Um, but it's really nice and still really easy to blend out. It looks a little messy here, as you can see, but I'm gonna blend that out with a with the crease brush and it's really easy to blend out all right and then i'm gonna go back in with the concealer and i just want to kind of clean that up a little bit so i'm just gonna do a line right here on the sides and then just blending that out with a sponge just to clean that up then I know I'm kind of hopping around a bit. I don't have, actually I do have a brow product from Ilia. It is their essential brow gel, but before that I want to do a pencil brow product. This is the Plume Nourish and Define Brow Pencil. I have this in the shade Ashy Daybreak. I just want to use this first because I do kind of want to go for a little bit of a more uh, drawn in look or just something rather than just a gel because a gel you can't really do like as precise of a look. Um, and I kind of want to do a little bit more of a precise brow. I really like this brow pencil. It's really easy to work with and the shade in particular works really well for me. I feel like if you typically go for like a taupey eyebrow shade, I think that this shade would work for you. Again, this is the shade Ashy Daybreak. And then I'm just brushing out with the spoolie. And then I'm going to take the Ilia Essential Brow. This is in the shade Blonde. And I'm just going to go through this, through my brows just a little bit. And I want to make sure that I scrape off a bit of the product just because I don't want to apply too much of it. But this is just a nice, quick brow. You could totally use this one on its own, but I wanted a little bit more of a precise looking brow. All right, so now I want to add a little bit more color to my face. I'm going to go in with their bronzer again. This is their Nightlight Bronzing Powder in the shade Drawn In. And I'm just going to warm up my face with this. Apply it like you normally would apply a bronzer. But I really like this one. I feel like you can really like build this up without it looking like you have just like some super stark line. It's a beautiful bronzer. I have really enjoyed this. It like applies so so nicely too. like it has like a such a nice like soft application I know it probably depends on also like the brush that you use to apply it, but I Just find that it's you don't have to like worry too much about like applying too much while it does have nice pigment It's not like when you apply you're just gonna have some super stark line or anything like that 
And then for blush, I'm gonna use the Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. I have this in the shade Waking Up. It's a really pretty, like, almost like, I don't know, like nude, burnt, orange type of shade. I feel like it's really nice for fall. And, you know, you can use these for a variety of different things. It is like a multi-use product, but I personally like to use these for blushes the most. You could totally use it for eyeshadow as well. Um, but these blend to the skin so beautifully. Like, just look at that. That blends out so gorgeous. Sits on the skin so, so nicely. It just melts in so easily with the warmth of your fingers. And it looks so, so beautiful. These are really, really easy to work with. And even though I did already apply like that powder to set my face, it blends really beautifully on top of powder. So then for highlighter, I'm going to use their Daylight Highlighting Powder in the shade Decades. This is a really gorgeous, like, kind of that typical, like, champagne shade, but I really like it. Super pretty. Just applying it to the tops of the cheekbones, a little to the nose. And, like... Look at that glow. That is so pretty. And I'm just gonna take some on the brow bone. And then I totally kind of goofed here. I was gonna also use their um, eyeshadow palette. This is their the Necessary Eyeshadow Palette in the warm nude version. But I did apply that liquid eyeshadow, but I do kind of want to still incorporate this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this shade right here, which is this really pretty bronzy shade. Like, ooh, such a gorgeous shade, especially for like fall. Um, so pretty. So I know I already have that um, liquid eyeshadow on, but I'm just going to pop a little of this on top. I feel like the shade Fresco for their liquid eyeshadow is definitely more of like a cool toned like bronze shade. Um, and this shade right here in the warm nude palette, the shade right here is definitely more of like a warm tone, but I'm just popping this on top. I know that kind of like defeated the purpose of putting on that liquid eyeshadow, but I totally forgot that I was gonna show this palette. For mascara, I'm gonna use their new fullest volumizing mascara. I just did a whole comparison video comparing this new mascara with with their Limitless Lash Mascara and the Limitless Lash Mascara is definitely a favorite of mine. Now I did mention in that video if you saw it that I wasn't sure which one I liked better but after testing it out more I can definitely say now that I do prefer um, the Limitless Lash one actually better than this one um, just because it takes less work to kind of get it to work well um, and I just really like how that one looks but I do like this one too but I do find that I have to do a little bit more work to actually make it work the way I want it to or to make it look the way I want it to. What I have to do is I have to actually make sure that I brush off a good amount of the product because this brush picks up a lot of product um, and if you're just going to go in without brushing off the product you're going to get way too much product on there and it's going to look clumpy and it's going to smear and it's not going to look right. So you just have to really brush off a good amount of the product but brushing it off on the tube you know makes so you're not wasting the product you will use it later um, but just getting that excess off of the brush so you're not applying too much and then if you still want to get a little more off which i like to do is just take a little bit more off with like a paper towel and then apply it and that's what i did um, when i did the comparison video between the two mascaras i did do both of those things just to make sure i didn't have too much product on the brush I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes real quick. All right, so I curled my eyelashes and then I'm going to apply this. And now that the mascara brush doesn't have too much product on it, I really, really like how this looks. Like, look how that is lengthening the lashes. It's also like doing a good job at lifting them. I think it looks so nice. But that's why you want to really make sure that you do wipe off enough of the product so that the brush just doesn't have so much of the product on it. The Limitless Lash Mascara does pick up, I feel like, just like the perfect amount of product and you don't have to wipe any of it off. This definitely gives you more of that like full look, I guess. Like it definitely still like applies more product than the Limitless Lash Mascara. And actually a tip that um, somebody from Ilya gave me is actually using the... Um, fullest volumizing mascara on the top eyelashes and then using the limitless lash mascara on the bottom lashes 
but today I'm just gonna use the fullest volumizing mascara on both. But that's a tip that you can try if you do have both of the mascaras. But yeah, I do really like how that looks. I think it looks really pretty, but it definitely takes a little bit more work um, than like the Limitless Lash Mascara. But still a nice mascara that you can definitely make work. So if you do have this mascara and have had issues like making it work for you, definitely try those tips or try those things that I just mentioned. It might help it work for you better. For the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and apply one of their uh, Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balms. This is in the shade Faded, which is a really nice like, kind of like nude color. And I just thought it would go good with the eye look that I have going on and also that like blush color. Just kind of gives that like fall look. So that's what I'm going for with this. Kind of like a brownie kind of shade. And even though these are a tinted lip balm, you can definitely see that they definitely build up pigment. Um, but yeah, so pretty. They feel so nice on the lips as well. I have done a whole swatch video for all of their lip balms if you want like help deciding which shades you might like the best. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to set the face with their Blue Light Filter Protect Plus Set Mist. So I have used this a bit before. I actually used up a full... Um, one of their mini sizes. I used that one completely up and I absolutely love it. The mister on this is also really, really nice. It gives like a really nice fine mist so you're not gonna get like splotchy bits when you spray it on the face. But the reason that I really like this is that I find that this actually really does make my makeup last longer and just makes my makeup look fresher. And I feel like I've had a hard time finding like a good setting spray within like the more like conscious beauty products um, that actually like makes your makeup last longer. And this is the first one that I've tried that I really feel like it does make my makeup last longer. So I have been really, really enjoying this. I definitely recommend it if you are looking for a more conscious beauty uh, makeup setting spray. If you are interested in trying any of these products, I will have all of the products that I use in today's video listed and linked in the description box below. So this is the completed look. I think this is a really nice look for fall. Um, let me know if you guys have tried anything from Ilya. Let me know what your favorites are or if you do have any questions about any of their products, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you guys are new here and enjoy beauty, health and wellness and skincare related content, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video. Bye guys.